Thousands of Iraqis turned out in Baghdad's Green Zone for a Friday mass prayer and protest. They're mostly supporters of influential Shayat leader Muqtada Sadr. Some in the crowd call it a revolution. Iraq has been controlled by corrupt politicians through consecutive governments. The quota system resulted in the deterioration of the healthcare system, education and security. Poverty is on the rise, but corrupt officials get richer every day. Drugs and weapons are spread everywhere because of those authoritarian parties affiliated to foreign powers. Many have traveled here from different parts of Iraq in the hopes of getting their voices heard. Iraq has had only a caretaker government for the last nine months, and many basic services have been interrupted. We've come here from Najaf, Karbala, Kut, and Babil. Shiites, Sunni, Kurds, Christians, and Yazidis. All to say no to the constitution drafted by the Americans. We will not leave until parliament is dissolved. These protests highlight the months of political stalemate to form a government since last October's general elections. Sadr's supporters have been occupying parliament in protests. In a televised statement, Sadr urges his supporters to continue their sit-in and suggested dissolving parliament and holding early elections as a solution to the political deadlock. The prayers coincide with Sadr's supporters leaving the parliament building after a one-week sit-in. But they have been instructed to stay on the ground surrounding parliament. We are planning to continue here until we topple the regime, no matter what it takes. We have nothing to lose more than what we have already lost. Our country is in ruins. The UN Special Representative to Iraq, Janine Plashart, has met Muqtada Sadr in Najaf. She's been quoted by local media as saying the meeting was productive. But some of Sadr's rival politicians pose a challenge, including former Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki and the head of the Popular Mobilization Forces, Faleh al-Fayyad. Both men insist holding early elections requires the formation of a new government because Iraq's caretaker government doesn't have the legal right to hold another election, which means millions of Iraqis may be facing many more days of uncertainty. Mahmoud Abdelwahid, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.